In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a basketball. So, delete this default cube, and add one UV sphere from the Add menu. Then, open this operator box and change the number of segments to 16. Now, go to the Edit mode. Deselect everything here, and turn on the X-ray mode, so that we can see through our object. We need to cut out the bottom half of this sphere. So select the lower half and go to Mesh, then Delete, then select Vertices. Similarly, we will remove the right half of the remaining part. So, select the vertices on the right half with the rectangle selection box. Then, go to Mesh, then Delete, and then Vertices option. Effectively, we now have just one-fourth of the original sphere. Let us zoom on this surface little bit, like this. Then select this knife tool. We will make a cut on this surface in order to get the seam pattern we see on a basketball. It need not be perfect, just an approximate cut is enough. Once done, hit Enter. Now, turn on the Edge Selection tool. Select the edges to complete this loop, which contains the cut we just made. We need to select three such loops. One is the cut. Then this half circle which goes through the cut, or you can say, a quarter circle. And then, select one more half circle perpendicular to it. These selections will later become the seam on the surface of our basketball. Complete this patiently. Perfect. We are done. Now go to the Modifiers tab. Add a mirror modifier. X-axis is already selected, so we got one duplicate part. Select Z-axis as well, to complete the whole sphere. After that, go to the Object mode. Apply this modifier. Again go back to the Edit mode. We can turn off this X-ray mode. Now we will make the seam. Select the Bevel tool. Click on this handle and drag it a little bit. Not much, maybe like this much is good. Now open this operator box and change the segment's value to say, 7. Now we have to deselect one segment from this. So go to Select menu, select more or less, and then less. Then select the Resize tool and drag the mouse inward, to create a depth along our loop selections. Just a little bit. Very little. Once this is perfectly done, we need to go back to the Object mode. Then add one Subdivision Surface modifier. And change the levels to 3 so that we have a smooth look for the sphere. Then go to the Materials tab, and add a new material. Change the color to some nice orange, something in the red and orange zone. Let us turn on the Rendered View mode to see the material effect. Next, we need to make these seam areas black color. So, add another material in this list, create a new material for this, and change the color to complete black. To apply this material on the seam, go to the Edit mode again. The loops are selected for the seam, and the black material is selected here, so just click on the Assign button. Then go back to the Object mode. The basketball is almost ready. But we need to apply some texture effect to this orange color material. So, let us split this screen and open a shader editor on the left side. Oops. Okay. We can close this section. Let us enlarge this little more. Now, we need to add couple of nodes here. First, add one. Voronoi texture. Change the texture type from F1 to smooth F1. And increase the scale to 200s. Then go to the Add menu again, and add a bump node. After that, connect this distance to the bump height. Also change the strength value to 0.3, and connect the normal to normal. Done, we can now close the shader editor. So, our final product is ready. You can create it in many different ways. But making the seam or the special design on its surface, is the primary task in creating this basketball. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.